Happy graduation day, Brooklyn. Congrats. Congrats to you, Joyce. I can't believe it's here. I know. That's crazy. Congrats on graduation. Thank you. You too. It's definitely different today than what I was expecting it to be, but I guess that's okay. Nice. Happy graduation. Yeah, woohoo. We made it. We made it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, you are watching Rejoice on Rejoice's channel. So today was supposed to be the day where I, along with billions and trillions of students all over the world who are graduating for, with some kind of degree, whether it be elementary, middle school, high school, college, master's level, PhD, doctorate program, but because of the corona, that ain't no plan. So, which is sad because this is a day we've all been waiting for, class of 2020. Anyway, it's still gonna be a good day. So I thought today I could use for reflection with some of my friends from college. I've been with these friends through the thick and thins of classes, of life, of college. And um, it's just, today is just like a proud moment for all of us just to take it in, breathe in the milestone we've all achieved. And we're just gonna sit here and reflect on how college life has been, how God has been good to us, to advise you all underclassmen because, I mean, we've been through it. We successfully got through it and all glory be to God. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also. Write down a comment if you're in the same shoe as us as you're graduating and this corona has ruined it. If you have any like advice on the classmen or just reflection on how your college years has been, just give it down and put it down in the comment section below. Um, thank you all so much and I'll see you all in the next interview. Okay. <laughs> like some of your memorable moments at college at UC. There are so, so many memorable moments. Day. I think it was like my sophomore year whenever I took population biology Mrs. Yetter made us go to the graveyard yeah <laughs> like look at all the graves when people passed away and also um whenever we had to go look looking for cats I yeah. thought that was so weird I'll always remember that <laughs> Always. I will always remember that. I think my best memory from college is from my sophomore year at the home track meet. I love track. And at that meet was when I set my PR and I jumped five foot seven. It was really cool because I, I got the meet record and I got the school record and I got the stadium record. And I think I was ranked like top five in the nation after that jump. But the best part about it was not like how I jumped, but it was at the home meet. So my all of my friends were there watching and cheering and supporting me. And my parents had driven down from Michigan to come watch and so they were cheering for me i was the only jumper left jumping still and everyone was cheering for me and cheering me on and supporting me and i watched back at the videos and every time i cleared a height like there's just an uproar of everyone screaming <laughs> yeah the international conference five star i think it was our sophomore year yeah. um, that dance party that was like that dance party everything was just really nice I know. you know we met a lot of different people and i didn't even want to stop dancing <laughs> I yeah. I yeah. yeah. This wasn't long ago. <laughs> Just uh yo yoing with my girl Sam in the side parking lot. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Oh, I thought you guys were nuts doing that. Like in the parking lot, but that's that's it fun. We were stupid. We were like, Just yo yoing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little hawk, or not hawk, but the lookout thing with you, that was so sweet to me yeah. because I felt like I'd really missed out on like the opportunity to get to do stuff like that. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Aww. Just closing for the tennis team. Like, I remember it depended on me one time whether we won, yeah. like Cumberland, <laughs> you are something, and like I won, and like it was this big. Yeah. So in this big <laughs> gathering. So yeah. I'm of course like there are some tough times on the team as well, but that was mm -hmm. one of my memorable moments of like wow, you know. Well there was one this is probably one of my crazier moments in life. There was one time one night where um, me and four of the girls, we okay. went and we thought we would sleep in hammocks on campus all night long. And so we set up our hammock next to the volleyball court yeah. in front of 
Latin School of Business. And we made it until maybe like 2 a.m. and then we got cold and went inside. Taxation <laughs> <laughs> for college, was it what you, was that the reality of what you faced? Good, there's good and bad here, I guess. Like, I really thought that college would be the place where I found like a really sweet community and like made all kinds of friends right off the bat. And I did, but I felt like I had to work for it a little bit more than maybe most people, like, because, you know, I was a transfer student. So I went to Eastern originally and I didn't have that. Like, I didn't feel like I really fit in or I really got to know anybody. And then when I went to Cumberland, I was like, oh my God, all these people are awesome. <laughs> didn't really know what to expect as far as making deep friendships, especially Christian friends. That expectation was totally blown out of the water and I made some very excellent godly friends. For me, I expected college to be more wild. I did live. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this, I knew that we were coming to a Christian school, so then I expected somewhat of not that kind of life. Where, tell me of ways you've grown from like freshman year to now. I feel like I've grown um, academically, spiritually. I guess realized my full potential. Honestly, I feel like that's the most important thing that I've learned is, is that like I'm capable of doing what I want. I don't really know what I've done. I think like the goal was just to get the degree, <laughs> you know, yeah. like get out of here. Yeah. Uh, I really didn't expect to grow and be challenged in the ways that I have been. So I don't mean for this to sound vain or anything, but like my favorite thing about myself is that I'm just a really perceptive person. Like I'm really open-minded. Mm -hmm. I think that surprises people. I was never like that. Like, college really challenged me in those ways and I met some awesome people that I never would have beforehand. All of that growth really has come from like the hardest times. Like for, I ran track and I learned so much from running track. So like my freshman year, I had a really hard season. Um, I was just really in my head and I didn't believe in myself. And then like my sophomore year, I kind of got it all sorted out. And I finally like believed that like I could jump high and I was able to do some cool things my sophomore year. And yeah. then my junior year, I told ACL and that was really, really hard going through that surgery and the recovery and coming back from it. But I learned so much in that time because for so long I had put so much in of myself into track. So I thought that like I was worthy if I was good at track. And then once I wasn't good at track anymore, cause I wasn't good at walking or anything, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, once I lost all that, like I realized that my worth doesn't come from any accomplishments or records or national qualifications. Like my worth just comes from God and that's all that's important and grew so much in my faith. Yeah. And also like just with school, so I know like obviously you know you learn a lot in classes like you learn about biology and you learn about chemistry but you also learn about like life in studying and stuff mm -hmm. so I remember there's this one class my sophomore year that I studied so hard for I put everything into and when it came down to it like I still ended up with a B in the class no matter how much I studied mm -hmm. and I learned so much through that like that it's okay if I get a B like as long as you put your best effort in it if like a B is the best you can do then that's great just because you see other people that can easily get A's and everything I'm sure you've experienced that too oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah. but that just because some people do something differently or they're better at something else than you that's mm -hmm. okay like you're still you can still do a lot and God can still use you in a lot of really cool and really great ways. Tell me your favorite professor at the University of Cumberland. I have a lot of great ones. I don't know if she'll ever watch this, but hands down, Dr. Tan. Love yeah. Dr. Tan, yeah. I have spent hours upon hours in person with her, on the phone with her. She's my advisor, my research director. So yeah, I did a lot, a lot with her. I think she's funny, she's brilliant, and I miss her. Well, it's sort of a toss up. But I think I would have to go with Dr. Case as he's always like to talk to me like in lab and stuff. He's always like to talk like personal with me about life and stuff. But then again, also Dr. Ash, I just really like her. She's always been personal whenever I would go in her office and stuff. But I'll probably have to, my first take would be Dr. Case. Lisa, my friend. <laughs> I second dance. She's um, she's um, just like so bubbly and at the same time serious yet understanding. Like I got a lot of jokes with her personally. Yeah. Is there anything you would have done any different? I would just say yes to everything and not like in a peer pressure way, but like if my friends asked if I wanted to go hiking, like I would say yes and go every time. Yeah. Or 
school event, like anything like that, I would have, or sports, I would have gone to everything. And I went to a lot of stuff. I would have said yes to everything if I could change it. Honestly, no, because if I had done like one thing, like one or two things different, then I probably, one, wouldn't be graduating a year early. And two, I probably wouldn't be on the path that I am right now. And even though I changed my mind a couple of times and it's not what I initially thought I was gonna do, I realize now that my plan doesn't matter that God's plan is what matters. And I truly believe that like, that's what I'm doing is what he wants for me. And that's the most important thing. For me, I mean, unfortunately, Dana and I did wish to get more involved in like BCM and those things. And we always said that we would every semester. <laughs> What would you tell your freshman self? As cliche as it sounds, that everything is going to be okay. My first semester, I literally like hated it. I hated school. I had no idea what I was doing. I wanted to like drop my major and pick up a psychology major. I wanted to drop bio. Oh my gosh, I can't do this. But lo and behold, like we're here. Like I finished. I'm going to pharmacy school. Like it will be okay. Like I promise you will find your people. You will, you know, make friends. You will make connections with not just students, but professors, faculty alike, like, it'll be okay. You will find your way. I would tell myself to study. Yeah, I really was out here not studying for two solid years. Like, I barely studied. <laughs> but also just to, like, enjoy hanging out with friends in that, um, like, there were so many times I was like, oh, I'm just tired. I'm going to watch Netflix in my room for, like, three hours straight. That's not what I remember from college. Like, I don't remember the fifth episode of New Girl that I watched in a day. Right. <laughs> Yeah. I remember the times that like, I don't know where we're like, let's go to Knoxville. And we just went to Knoxville one night like we did um, earlier this semester or just go hiking mm -hmm. and all the fun things that college has because there's so many fun things, even at our tiny little campus. And um, to not waste my time with boys, I would also tell myself that. <laughs> I would tell my freshman self, be calm. Be calm and take it easy. It's gonna get hard, but you you are gonna make it. Even though you may fall, you just have to get right back up. But you will fall, and I, I know it's cliche, <laughs> but you will fall. But you 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 have to get up, and you would finish. Mm. Obviously, you evolve as a person, and you should expect that. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Like press into it and be. But also, like, the things that you prize and that are important to you going into college, keep those at the forefront, too. Like, they don't, you don't have to compromise in order to grow. Mm. Wow, that was good. Wow. That should be a tweet. Obviously, for both of us, faith was su super important. Mm -hmm. Important going into school. Obviously, it wasn't for a whole lot of other people, but it's fun. You're allowed to hang on to that and be challenged and grow. And, like, relationships that I had before going into school, like, I had to prioritize those and still have friends at school. <laughs> yeah. So, just, like, finding a balance. Mm. Those things. Like, be conscious of it and do it thing I would say like just don't don't give up like I would say to just even when you feel tired and like you don't think it's possible to make it like just just each time you feel like that give it one more push until you reach the finish line because I mean that's exactly how I felt in some semesters like even when last mm -hmm. semester when I had one more semester to go and I was like oh how am I going to do this <laughs> but look at where we are now I did it yeah you know I yeah. have to find that push from somewhere mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so tell me some like an encouragement for underclassmen wow um at this moment <laughs> I'm just thinking about how it goes by so fast <laughs> like I just can't believe it's over and just to enjoy it just to know that your grades and your schoolwork is meaningful if you do it for the Lord that he is honored by that but not to make that everything because if you miss out on the people around you 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 are really missing out those people are special and unique everybody is going to exist eternally somewhere even just the people serving you in the calf like those are souls that are important to God and should be important to us too so you're young and growing and you're still kind of a kid and so don't expect to be perfect or to make perfect decisions or beat yourself up if you do something that doesn't turn out well. Yeah, I guess I'd say that all the tough classes, all the hard tests, like you'll get through it. And um, 
but keep grinding, keep pushing because every test you take and every final you take, like you learn so much, not just in the class, but also in who you are and in your work ethic. And um, yeah, so it's really important and keep doing it. But also that don't be afraid of like the hard times in the valleys because that's where you learn so much about who you are and who God is and how much he loves you and how he is always, always, always there for us. Um, not be too scared of them and not want to just skip on past them and go back to where everything is good and perfect again. Don't fail. A is cool. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, for real. I think I really had a lot of unrealistic expectations. When I started taking Gen Ed and stuff, I was like all A's and I was like, wow, I'm amazing. <laughs> And then I took biology classes. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. It's really fun. Like that's just life. This is what we do. <laughs> Whatever time you have, you know, go out with your friends that you make. I think that um, college friends that you make are completely different from like your high school friends. For sure. Really. Yeah. And I, I enjoyed college better than high school. So. Oh, for sure. Me too. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> A lot better. Yeah. Like I miss college, so. Um, enjoy college. Um, don't think that you have to rush in to experience everything because you know it comes naturally and to just you know appreciate every moment because as much as as much time as we may seem to have it does eventually pass so I appreciate the study days the days with your friends the days of being there to just hang out with them you know maybe the struggles too because it's how we grow and just appreciate the whole experience as a package and yeah. not just like look forward to like the one thing like the parties or you know the <laughs> one thing people make college about